Hey, hello, Zafoon players around the world. My name's Ken, and this is Talking Zafoon. And uh, this is going to be a very short video. We're going to talk about one of the fingerings that give a lot of people problems. I know it gave me some problems when I was learning to play. Um, the low E flat, which is uh, all, the fing all the holes are closed except hole number eight. This is on a C Zafoon. If you've got a different key, we're still talking about this fingering. Um, one of the problems with that fingering is it's sharp. To play it properly, we uh, need to have our ring finger above the hole because um, how high our finger is above this hole affects the pitch. So, as you can hear. Uh, so we need the correct position. For me, it's uh, you take your uh, index finger, um, and sorry for that, right at the edge, you rest your other finger, and that, when you play the fingering then, it keeps it about the right distance because the closer we come to the hole, the lower the pitch goes, because that effectively extends the air column uh, inc by increasing the pressure as the, we get closer and closer to a closed hole. It's kind of, it's the same principle as a half hole, which we'll get into. Uh, so, if you play it like that, then we have and it comes out correctly. Now, even getting it correctly and getting the pitch correctly, there are still some problems with this fingering because it's just not a comfortable fingering uh, especially if you are approaching, say, from the D. So going from D to E flat, we have to lift up this finger and lower this finger. It's kind of a motion like this between the fingers. It, it's a little bit awkward. And uh, when I first started playing, I used to do an exercise where I would lift up that uh, ring finger and then press it down with a little pressure and gradually resist that. And quickly it will build up your muscle strength. See, if you are having trouble lifting your finger the right amount, it, it, it helps a lot. But let's look at some other ways we can play the E flat. There are a couple different ways. For one thing, now if we want to play a D flat, we just flatten, do a half hole on hole number nine. So we can do the same thing with the E. We can go and actually put a half hole on it. So So that's one way. Of course, that, that has its own set of problems because to half hole, we kind of tilt our hand then, and then it's a little out of line for playing the other notes. So it creates some other awkwardness. So there's another way to play it even more comfortably than that. If you take the E, we do a double half hole. And by the way, I'm trying to show images of these on the screen. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to assume uh, you see some of the images to one side or another of me or, or on the whole screen. And we will, uh, so in this case, to half hold these, both of these simultaneously, we uh, bring, rather than bringing the tips of our fingers and trying to actually do a half hole, we rest them across like this at an angle. Uh, which then blocks the airflow and does the same thing I said before when we bring our finger down, but now we're doing it on two holes. So, yeah, just playing an E major triad there. So you can hear it's in octave in tune. Um, so that's, I've been recently discovered that fingering and I find it extremely useful uh, for helping to play smoothly uh, when you have something in E flat or in A flat. And uh, we'll talk about A flat in one moment because uh, there's one other way then. If you take the F fingering, we do a triple half hole to get the E flat. So we can go. <laughs> It's, uh, 
a, a nice way to play it, I, I believe. And I would like to encourage you all to just try this. If, you have, if you're having trouble, a lot of people do have trouble with E flat. So try this technique and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised uh, and less anxious about playing any key that uses that E flat. Now, speaking of keys that use E flat, there's the key of A flat. At the A flat triad. Um, so A flat, we normally play it like this with the top three holes and lower three holes. So this um, hole number five and hole number nine are both open. But that's not the only way to play A flat. So if you're playing E flat, let's just take the regular E flat fingering with that hole open. Lift this finger here on from hole number five goes up a perfect fourth to the A flat, which is nice because that uh, fits in with the A flat tri major triad. So so, and the nice thing about that is any of those E flat fingerings. Uh, you can do the same thing. So if you're playing it with the half hole method, nice trill, or if you're playing it with the triple, so that's basically it for the lesson. I hope the fingering showed up on the side. Uh, I'm going to have to do that afterwards with some video editing software, which I'm just learning how to use. And, um, and one of these days I'm promising I'm going to use a better camera too because I know my video quality. But uh, thanks for watching. Give us a like, a subscribe if you found it useful. And uh, have a great day. Zapooning day. Goodbye.